Hey guys welcome to my channel. Apple's Fall 2025 event is right around the corner and excitement is already building. Sure the iPhone 17 lineup will take center stage, but this year the Apple Watch is also getting some serious attention. We're expecting not just one but two major upgrades the brand new Apple Watch Series 11 and the next gen Apple Watch Ultra 3. And these aren't just small refreshes. Apple could finally be introducing new health tracking features we've all been waiting for plus faster performance, improved battery life, new display technology, and even satellite connectivity that could make the Ultra 3 a must-have for outdoor adventurers. In this video, we're breaking down everything you need to know, the confirmed upgrades, the leaks, the rumors, and what all these changes actually mean for you as a user. Whether you're rocking an older Apple Watch and considering an upgrade or you just want to see how Apple is planning to stay ahead of competitors like Samsung and Garmin. This video has you covered, so let's jump straight into the details starting first with the Apple Watch Series 11. Apple Watch Series 11, what's new? It's been a while since we've seen a major health breakthrough on the Apple Watch. If you think back, the biggest leaps were the addition of ECG readings and blood oxygen monitoring. Since then, updates have mostly been incremental. And with Apple pulling back blood oxygen features in certain regions due to legal issues, many users are wondering what's next for health tracking. Blood pressure alerts, according to reports, Apple's next big health push could be blood pressure monitoring. Now it's important to set expectations. This won't replace a traditional cuff that gives you exact systolic and diastolic numbers. Instead, Apple is reportedly working on a system that detects hypertension over time. Think of it like how sleep apnea detection or body temperature tracking currently works. It requires data collected over days or weeks rather than instant. Finally see the Ultra 3, and there are some very interesting changes rumored. Bigger display, slimmer bezels, the current Apple Watch Ultra 2 has a 1.92-inch display with a resolution of 410 by 502 But in the iOS 26 beta code, a new Apple Watch resolution 422 by 514 was discovered. That doesn't match any existing model, which strongly suggests we're looking at the Ultra 3's display. The casing size is expected to stay the same at 49 millimeters, but Apple may reduce the bezel size slightly giving us a larger, more immersive display without making the watch bulkier. LTPO 3 OLED display another big change. The Ultra 3 is expected to adopt the LTPO 3 OLED panel that debuted in last year's Series 10. This next, Gen display technology improves the always-on mode offering higher refresh rates, brighter visuals, and better visibility at different angles. For outdoor adventurers and athletes, this upgrade could make a noticeable difference. Satellite connectivity here's where things get really exciting. Since the iPhone 14 Apple has been pushing satellite connectivity for emergencies and iOS 18, even expanded it to support texting any contact. With the Ultra 3, Apple may finally bring satellite messaging to the watch. Imagine being able to send a quick text or SOS from your wrist, even if you're completely off-grid with no cellular or Wi-Fi coverage. This would make the Ultra 3 an even more powerful tool for hikers, climbers, and explorers. Blood pressure and health features just like the Series 11. The Ultra 3 is expected to support blood pressure alerts. Apple tends to keep its top-tier watch in sync with the mainstream model when it comes to health tracking, so if one gets it, the other almost certainly will 2.watchOS 26 new features for everyone no matter which Apple Watch you choose. You'll also get the latest software upgrade watchOS 26. Some of the highlights include Workout Buddy, a new fitness motivator designed to encourage you mid-exercise. Sleep score rumored hidden inside beta code are signs of a new sleep scoring system. Similar to what devices like the Hour Ring already offer, it would give you a score based on your rest and predict how ready you'll feel the next day. This could finally give Apple sleep tracking the depth it's been missing compared to competitors like Fitbit and Garmin. The Series 11 is shaping up to be a health-focused upgrade with blood pressure, alerts the S11 chip, and 5G RedCap connectivity. The Ultra 3 will likely bring a larger display, upgraded LTPO 3 OLED panel, possible satellite. Connectivity and the same new health features as the Series 11 to both will run watchOS 26, bringing new workout and sleep tracking improvements. The big question is, are these upgrades enough for you to upgrade? Or will you stick with your current Apple Watch for another year? So there you have it, everything we know so far about the Apple Watch Series 11 and the rugged new Apple Watch Ultra 3. From blood pressure monitoring and the all-new S11 chip to 5G red cap connectivity brighter LTPO 3 OLED displays, and even the possibility of satellite texting Apple looks ready to take the smartwatch game to the next level in 2025. The big question now is, 
Are these upgrades enough to convince you to upgrade? Maybe you're still rocking a Series 7 or 8 and this feels like the perfect time to jump in. Or maybe you've got a Series 10 or an Ultra 2 and you're debating whether these changes justify the upgrade. Personally, I think the health features and connectivity improvements could be game changers for a lot of people. But I'd love to hear from you. Are you planning to pick up the new Series 11 or is the Ultra 3 more your style? Or maybe you're holding off entirely. Drop your thoughts down in the comments. I always love hearing what you think. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my full coverage of Apple's September event, including hands-on impressions comparisons and in-depth analysis of all the new.